And he's the only one. You see, um, this country must come out of um, uh, this uh, situation. You've just seen in the background that uh, the officer has just arrived to come and start doing the re registration. There are many people that have been here waiting. We came as early as, uh, as 6.30. Now, look at the time. This is now 8.36. That's when the ECZ officer is arriving at 8.36. Since when did it become, you know, a law in Zambia that public officers must report for work at 8.36? What kind of country are we building? This is something that uh, all of us must take very seriously. We spoke about it yesterday in the UPP, and we are witnessing the same kind of you know, attitude which cannot be tolerated at all. This process of registration must be taken very seriously. And we do believe that they are doing this deliberately, especially in the cities, where they want to disenfranchise to, 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 to dis um, the people deliberately. It's a deliberate ploy. And we do believe that they want to concentrate on those areas where they know that um, they will have uh, um, you know, their own way in terms of manipulating the vote in 2021. But what I want to say is this. The people of Zambia cannot be taken for granted, including this country. Zambia belongs to all of us. All security agencies of the state are suffering just like the people of Zambia. There are many people who say even when any government is intending to rig you know, the elections, they say that popularity still plays a key role. If you have lost popularity, there is no way you can force yourself or impose I mean, yourself on the people. This country is facing numerous you know, problems. And when it's time to go, it's time to go. This is intolerable. And we do know that uh, this is the same problem that many people are facing across the country. Why are you making a joke of this important process over which people died to get this uh, right to vote? This must be taken very, very, very seriously. And we want to encourage the people of Zambia. Let's not give up, no matter what they do. In fact, what we must do is that should we get to the same 30 day period that I've spoken about without having the majority of citizens registered, we are going to make court applications to ensure that the people of Zambia register as voters. This country gained independence in order that the people of Zambia determine the direction that this country must, must take. This cannot be tolerated. This cannot be allowed. We can't see these things happening before our eyes. And then we let this kind of idiocy continue to determine the way things are done. They have so destroyed this country that they are even so shameless. They have reached the, the end of what we call elasticity. Because when you come to the very end where your, your conscience, your conscience reaches the very end of elasticity where it can no longer be stretched. This is the level that they have reached these people. And they think that everything is up for manipulation in Zambia. There are many young people not in employment. There are those women who are waking up every morning to go and sell basic you know, commodities to, to feed their children, they are suffering. This country has been intembanized. Everywhere you go, you find out that it's China, Chinese setting up to intembanize and you are calling them investors. Can you go to China and can you be given one, one millimeter of land in China? And let, we let this country just be laid under siege. This cannot be tolerated. That's why all of us as, as citizens, we must stand up and make sure that um, this regime, the regime of people who are incorrigible, who are incorrigible, who don't listen, are taught a lesson. That's why we are telling you, don't give up. Remember, there are people who died to get this right to vote. So it will not be a big matter if it means that we, if we must wait for, 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 for 24 hours, if we must wait for one week, we shall wait, whatever period we shall wait until we register. 
But as things are going on, I think right now we must begin to raise resources to make some court applications so that this process can be expedited. And every one of us, please, let's not give up. Let's register to vote. When you are almost giving up to register, remember that there are people who died. There are people who died to get this right to vote. They united across tribe, across, across you know, color. They stood up and to the right to vote was granted. So just remember those men and women who are lying in the graves, who fought for this right to vote. And let's you know, you know, stand up and ensure that we register as voters. We are not going to give up. Meanwhile, what we are seeing happening right now, and I think that this is very clear, how can someone report at 36? And up until now, we are waiting that people must go to, who must go to work. Everybody's waiting. There are people who came early because they must go back to work. They got permission, let's say, for an hour and so forth like that. So how can we be productive as a country like this? People must go to work, even those who are not working. They have their own facilities. They must go and sell. Now, they, you want people to come and line up to wait the whole day to just come and register as voters, something which must be expedited. This must be taken very seriously. This is Zambia that we have, and if one of the things that should give up on Zambia, that person was most stupid. Will not give up over this country. We will not give up over Zambia. This is the country that our founding fathers and, and the mothers fought for. And this generation must not give up. We must fight. We, this is a call to fight for justice and dignity for all. Don't give up wherever you are. We, I know that we are facing the same challenges. Don't give up. Don't you know, give up. That's what has happened. They have stolen so much. They are used to stealing. And they want even to steal the elections before we even go to, to vote. Now we we'll make sure that they don't steal the election. That's why we must watch over these thieves. They have stolen this country's resources. Now they want to steal even the change that the people of Zambia want to, to, to effect through the ballot. So don't give up. This is the key word. Tell those who are eligible to vote, tell your friends, don't give up. Remember one keyword, I keep repeating this. Remember those who died to get this right to vote. Just that must encourage you to stand up and make sure that you are counted. Thank you.